Well, the nice thing is, all right, so what we can do here is because they're a little bit low on left, I can change the hosel setting to add a couple of degrees. Okay. And put it on a draw setting. My word. You change things, so if you, you know, have a few lessons, change how you deliver the club, then all of a sudden, all right, well, I can move the you know, hosel setting back, so you're not set in stone. It's gone up to just shy of 20 yards of carry. Are you one of those people who question the value of getting custom fit? Maybe you doubt the possibility that the process itself could help you play better golf. Well, in today's video, I have a special guest on the channel. He plays off a handicap of 15. He's also a left-handed golfer, and his current setup includes irons that date back to 2014 and a driver that was first released in 2004. So in today's video, we will be filming that full custom fit process at Callaway's Performance Center at Archer Field Links. It truly is a magnificent setup, but we will be answering one simple question, and that is, custom fit a waste of time or a necessity and that special guest is a good friend of mine steve bauer many of you whom will recognize as lead presenter on premier league global coverage and maybe heard his dulcet tones and football commentary for the past 30 years it's kane from the penalty spot again and there is his immortal moment! Right, Steve, first of all, welcome to the channel, and I think thank you for agreeing to have your custom fit broadcast to the nation. Brave man. Um, before we go and hit some balls, I want to know what are your... Well, first of all, what's the reasoning for the custom fit? Why, why are you doing it? I want to find out what it's all about, really, Andy, to yeah. be honest with you. You've asked me a couple of times over the years. Um, now I'm looking to play more golf. Is it real? Does it help you? Does yeah. it, will it help my game? Uh, will it hinder my game? Uh, is someone at, at my level going to benefit from a custom fit or is yeah. it someone like yourself more single figures? Um, so hopefully I can show everyone well, out there, whether it does or it doesn't. Well, that's interesting because they're all good comments um, or questions rather that hopefully we'll answer in today's video. And to be honest with you, similar to the comments I get on custom fit videos. So we'll see um, well, at the end of this mm -hmm. if we've got some answers. Um, in terms of expectations from the process, what are you expecting? Well, I haven't got them too high. I'm going in with an open mind, but in terms of, of my bag, um, irons are generally my, my stronger point, as yeah, you yeah. know, but you also know I've always, always had a low ball flight with my irons. So I'm looking for a little bit more launch my irons. Um, they're, they're a bit dated, so and just a little bit of help, really, on, in terms of landing on yeah. the green. Okay, and then into the sort of maybe from the irons into the driver well the driver as you all know is, uh, has been with me a long time um, the obvious thing I'm, I'm looking for and hoping for is distance yeah um, because i'm always 20 30 yards behind you um a little bit more consistency as well and, and feel just to feel a little bit more comfortable with, with the driver in my hand and a little bit more confident off the tee okay so let's get over to the uh, performance center here at archfield link starting some balls and then hopefully we'll get some answers to those questions later on in the video so the process began with Steve collecting some data with his current irons in the bag to act as a barometer moving forward. I would say on my irons at the moment, more hooky. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Grand. All right. So the reason I ask is just because the Paradigm X is a little bit more offset if you sliced it. So I think we'll go start off with a normal Paradigm mm -hmm. and your shaft is 85 grams and stiff. So what I'll do is I'll do a like for like just to see what the new head does for you. Right. I'm not absolutely cream one with it. Yeah? Mm, it was okay, but not like, wow. You expressed the fact that the naughty shot is a hook for you. Mm. So in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, right, well, how can we help you with that? So there's two ways we can do it, which you can physically change the static loft of the, the iron. Right. And or we can do something with the shaft length. So what I've, given you there is I've given you a shaft that's half an inch shorter than standard so 36 and a half inches which actually flattens the lie a little bit so when you flatten the lie you basically make the club face for you point more left by default so after trying two or three different other shafts we came back to the elevate 85 gram but this time in regular shaft flex and it made a significant difference to all parameters Club head speed, ball speed, and carry different significant gains, but also land angle remain the same, but an increase in launch angle, which is what Steve was looking for. 
So irons now suited, it was time to head on into the driver. And we started this as we did the process with the irons and that was by trying his existing driver. Let's collect some data and see what it is exactly we have to beat. And again, similar scenario, Steve was looking for extra carry distance, maybe some extra launch and certainly some extra ball speed. Over to you, Ollie. You know, so that five grams lighter shaft is helping helping a little bit. Okay. I'm just like we did with the iron, just just see yeah, if yeah. you know Trial a little bit area. softer softer helps. I'll hit one more, but I think I like the uh, feel of this slightly more than the previous. You but, prefer the regular. But Ollie will tell me otherwise in a minute. Mm -hmm. And whilst the change into the 55 gram reg made a huge difference when we swapped over to the same shaft but one inch shorter, I think it's fair to say Steve was pretty impressed. My word. Felt oh, great that one. Yeah, yeah, just a short shaft, inch short. Very good. That, that is more consistent than the other two, isn't it? Oh yeah, miles. We went into the Tensai Blue 55 gram regular standard length, and you can see there that the strike location kind of then dimped and it went to, went to the heel. Then when we went shorter, it starts to leak towards the center. Yours is the, um, is the orange. Mm. And then when we go up against that with the tensile blue, so the correct weight, the correct flex, and the correct length, we're starting to see a nice bump of nearly uh, 15 yards with a carry, um, 20 plus yards of total run out. Logical combination, you think, oh, I'm going to have a longer shaft, get more club head speed, but the shorter shaft for yourself, better strike location, better digits. Right, okay, so that's Balls Hit Custom Fit finished. <laughs> and uh, before we make the reveal on the product, I just want to talk about the sort of uh, the process. And we started off with the irons. It was, I wouldn't say a struggle, but you went through a few different yeah. shafts before you found the right one. How did you find the, the, the process of getting from where we started to where we finished in terms of the irons? Really interesting. I mean, I've learned a lot today. Yeah. Um, you know, probably more than I thought I was going to do to be perfectly honest. And the irons were more of a challenge, and I, and I knew that anyway, um, because that was probably the strongest part of my game. So I knew I wasn't hitting bad irons um, with the irons I had. So I, I knew that that might be a little tweak here and there. Well, and it proved we went through different shafts. Yeah. Um, well, the big change was sort of the, we, we went through, we used the same elevate shaft, yeah. but we changed the weight of it and changed the flex of it. And ultimately where you ended up from where we started was the main thing was to, that we changed the shaft four or Ollie changed the shaft four. We seen a better launch angle. You said to yourself, you know, kind of irons can be sometimes a little bit flat, which therefore descent angle can be a little bit flat as well coming into green. So there was a significant change there in terms of performance. And ultimately that came from, like I said, that trying, I think, I mean, don't get me wrong, we tried three or four shafts, was it? Yeah. And what we finished up with was uh, an iron a shaft head combination that really worked. But the irons was kind of like I said, although it was a challenge, maybe didn't see the gains that we seen next, which came when we moved up to the other end of the bag and we stepped into the driver. Yeah, well, I think uh, it, it, the analogy I'd use, everyone who's been happily married 30, 35 years watching this, when you first met your now wife, you know. Andy knew that with his good lady, Tracy, I know that. But you, you just know. And um, apart from a, a little tweak on the, on the shaft, yep. uh, as soon as I got the driver in... The you loved everything about the bar, I did, right? I, I did. The, the driver was, was love at first sight. The shaft, interestingly enough, tried a few different options, um, but the big thing with the shaft was it went one inch shorter. Mm. Now, the interesting thing with that was that what Steve didn't 
lose was club head speed. So you'd naturally assume that by going shorter shaft, you lose a little bit of club head speed. You didn't do that at all. In fact, gained a little, but then in terms of ball speed, also increased because I assume you're therefore finding the centre of the club face a little bit more often, yeah. which is ultimately where that, uh, that ball speed is. So the one inch shorter shaft made a huge difference. Getting again that sort of flex right and that weight right was again paramount in getting that ultimate performance. But I've got to say, like I said, as soon as you picked up that driver, yeah. you loved it. I did. It just felt easy. It felt comfortable. Yeah. And yeah, we're, we're, all, uh, we're all amateur golfers. When you see that ball, is straight and with, with more height, with yeah. more carry. It, it, you know, yeah. it's, a, it's a great feeling. But you should point out that I'm leaving an old friend, a very old friend behind. In, in, yeah, in yeah, well, that, I mean, don't I get me wrong. Driver. That, that, it's that taken driver. you a while to get me to relinquish it, and well, it'll be a, some send off for you. We're at Archfield Links, and down the road in Gullen, there's a uh, golf museum, <laughs> and that's where that driver's going because. Uh, it's fair won a few competitions. It's, it's one one with few, your dad, to be fair. It's only so. a few quid over the years, but it's yeah. time for retirement. The, the performance out of the Paradigm Driver was phenomenal, like I said, straight away. What that does then is breeds confidence. And you mentioned on a number of occasions, I can't wait to get out there on the fairways. Yeah. And I think that, again, is what buying new clubs is all about. It's, you know, it's increasing confidence, increasing enjoyment. You want to get out there and play golf. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Uh, but just final question, your sort of takeaway from the custom fit process... I know I sort of had my idea of it, but I'm really interested to know now you've completed yours. Well, it was a, it was a big help having you there as, as, with your input, having been through the process. Um, what I would say to anyone watching this who might be, mm, is it for me? Go and do it. Go and do it. Now, obviously, I haven't been out on the fairway with the clubs yet, so I'm just basing that purely on what you've just seen there in the bay. Actually, I'm sitting here now because uh, Andy's tried to get me to do this a few times over the years, kicking myself that I didn't do it earlier because... Really, it was a time factor. I was a playing enough. Well, I should have done it earlier. But now I've done it. Mm. You've hit the nail on the head. I'm so excited to get back out onto the fairways once Fantastic. they arrive. And I know we're going to go out and, and yeah, see how they go. Up, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's just it, it's just heightened the interest in the game for me. Um, Fantastic. That's uh, good ahead of the season. So I, I'd say to anyone, go and do it. Well, you've done it at the right time of year as well. Masters is fast approaching and uh, very soon some light nights get back out on the fairways and we will be doing a follow-up video of, like I said, uh, you know, we've been in a, a controlled environment. Now let's get them out in reality and see if those balls are stopping on green, see if that driver is uh, pinging it out there like we think it will. But yeah, overall, thanks to Steve for your time this afternoon. A fantastic experience. Take from it what you will, but I think there's a big learning curve for all of us. Custom fit is hugely important. And like I said, I hope Steve sees the gains when we get out there. Not too many, though, because uh, I don't want him taking too much money off me. Right, that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. But this is only part one of this custom fit process. And very shortly, you will see how Steve went from his longest iron in the bag up to driver. And that also is a very interesting process. So trust me, Keep your eye out for that one and uh, I'll see you all tomorrow night.